P stands for momentum. And actually, we usually put um, an arrowhead above it. What's that mean? It's a vector, and that means direction is improved. Now, what we're going to do this week is um, we're going to look in one dimension. Um, so to the left will be negative and to the right will be positive. And you just want to be sure that you pay attention to the signs of your velocities. Because, and the computer is not going to tell you the sign. You have to get it from the context. Okay? So, momentum is equal to mass times velocity. And I think you probably, you've already got the word momentum in your vocabulary. And you already sort of have a, an intuitive feel for how this momentum stuff works. It turns out that momentum is always conserved. And remember, in physics, conserved means what? Conserved means stays constant. That's what it means. So, if you, you guys have all seen billiard balls, or you know maybe watch somebody play pool, or you play pool, and. Um, Conservation momentum is definitely in play there because often you'll have the cue ball coming in with some velocity and then it hits a ball that's at rest on the table and now spin of the ball can complicate this and make what I'm saying not exactly true but um, when this ball hits the target ball that has initial velocity zero, then often what you'll see happen is the cue ball stops, but not always, and the target ball goes on. Have you guys seen that? You know what I, you sort of know what I'm talking about? In that interaction, um, momentum would be conserved, which means the momentum of the cue ball plus the target ball before the collision is equal to the sum, the vector sum of their momenta after the collision. So if you, if you do MV and MV before and after, they'll add up to be the same thing. And we're going to use the air track to reduce friction. Um, let, me, let me erase my ball pictures and so so what this means is oh and I got to tell you one other thing typically conservation of momentum is useful in physics in two different situations collisions and explosions that's when we use it and so we typically say something like um, mass one times velocity one it's useful for a system of objects our system is just going to have two objects. <laughs> that was smooth, wasn't it? So, so we're going to have two gliders, mass one and mass two. And you want to be sure you adjust the You've got these um, gates adjusted so the flag interrupts the beam. See, I think this one is too high. And the lab manual suggests that you um, put these photo gates 40 centimeters from either end. 
we are going to use two of them. So, oh, I wanted to look and see if we're calling it, if we're calling it initial and final. Okay. So, that's V1 initial and V2 initial. And that vector sum should equal M1 times V1 final plus M2 times V2 final. This is the relationship that we're testing. This is what we're testing right here. So let's look at how this is going to go. Um, I wrote most of this one. Well, I edited it. I, I took an existing one and rewrote it. So collision one, by the way, my class is only going to do the first four collisions. We are not going to do the explosion. The reason we're not going to do the explosion is because um, I've never seen a group get good results. But if you're in the other section, you're probably going to have to do the, the explosion as well. So my class only do collisions one through four. You don't have to worry about collision five. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I want to talk to you about um, collision one here. And we're calling these carts even though they're gliders. So... Um, the initial velocity of cart one is going to be from left to right. So I'm going to say, so we'll do your left, not my left. Okay, so this is going to be cart one. That'll be cart two. And I tell you here everything you need to have. So no masses added to cart one. Um, we want one mass added to each side of cart two. Here are the masses. They're in this little plastic box that's under the, like on your table there be the styrofoam thing with the gliders on it. And then under that is the plastic box of accoutrements. And these are the masses. And they fit right on these pegs on either, si either side of the glider, all right? So there's cart two. Now, the initial, oh wait, and the bumper on cart one. So here's cart one again. And the bumper is um, the pin. So it might have a, it might be stuck in a cork and it might not. It's just like, it's got a banana plug on one end and a pin on the other. All right, so that's cart one. Cart two is actually going to be out here in the middle. But I haven't gotten to that part yet. Okay, and cart two is going to have the clay cup. It's, it's a banana plug that's just got a little cup that's stuffed with clay. So when cart one...